I'm Mark Lundstrom. I'm the Dean of Engineering here at Purdue, and it's my pleasure to be talking with Dr. Tony Yin. Tony is Vice President and Head of the Technology Development Center for the company ASML. Now, Tony and I have known each other for a long time, uh, since Tony was an undergraduate here at Purdue, and I followed Tony's career as he went to MIT to do his PhD, and, and then worked for several companies, uh, notably TSMC, the largest chip manufacturing company in the world. Spent some time at an organization called Semitech and uh, worked at iMac in Europe. And Tony currently now is working for the company that is probably most responsible for keeping Moore's Law going. This is just a phenomenal company that makes tools that are used in the chip manufacturing process. So. Um, Tony, I'd like to ask you a few questions, and, and sure. maybe we'll begin by asking you to reflect on your time at, at Purdue. And is there a course or an experience uh, that, that particularly stands out to you? Yes. So, so if I want to name one professor that had a huge impact on my life and career, it's you, Mark. I took two classes with you, right, EE255 and EE455, and also I took meals at Owen Hall, although I lived in Ross 8, and then you were a fellow of Owen Hall. So every week, and you and your young family came to join us at the dinner table, so, and that gave me an extra opportunity to, to discuss uh, things, uh, your research uh, on semiconductors, right, beyond the classroom. Okay. Well, thank you. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm flattered, uh, you know, given all that you've accomplished in your career. That, yes. Uh, so I really... I want to thank you okay. uh, once more uh, for, 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 this, right. for this opportunity. Right. Now, ASML is probably a company that most people outside the semiconductor field have not heard from. Can you describe in a sentence or two what ASML's business is? Yes, we provide lithography solutions for the semiconductor industry. And lithography, maybe, maybe we should ask you to explain yeah. what lithography is. Yeah, lithography is to uh, put the patterns that you uh, want to uh, have on the wafer. Well, first, we make a photo mask. Right? Photo masks are normally uh, uh, written using electron beams, um, and then you process the electron beams. You do uh, you, you you etch the patterns on a photo mask, and then you put the photo mask uh, in the scanner, and then you replicate uh, the patterns on a photo mask onto uh, the silicon wafer. Right? Uh, the current field size uh, uh, is uh, 26 by 33 millimeters. So uh, on a 12-inch wafer, you can have up to 100 fields, about 100 fields. But in each field, you can have many dyes, right? Mm -hmm. Each dye is a chip. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can have six dyes in the field, and that means you can have 600 dyes, good dyes on a wafer if your yield is perfect. Yeah, just remarkable. So you, ASML currently manufactures the most sophisticated tool of this kind. I don't believe there's any other company in the world that can do what your company does. That, that, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you look to the future, mm -hmm. what, are the, what are the challenges? What projects are you working on currently? We continue to develop our next generation uh, lithography tools. That's the, the high numerical aperture uh, EUV scanners. One of these tools w w will come out next year. Mm -hmm. And then that will take us to definitely beyond uh, the two nanometers, uh, that will give us uh, a few more generations of uh, future semiconductor devices. Okay, yeah. very good. So we understand that ASML is growing rapidly. Yeah. Um, maybe you could tell our students, when you're, when you're looking to hire new college grads, what are you looking for? What kind of disciplines, what kind of talents or, or other abilities? Yes, uh, we're looking for uh, talents, we're looking for uh, engineers from all disciplines, right? We're looking for physicists, we're looking for chemists, we're looking for material scientists. We're looking for uh, students who are uh, curious, uh, who uh, have the stamina, and then who take delight in solving difficult problems. Right? We offer a rewarding career for, for these students. Uh, but it's a career, right? It's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Right, right. Well, it sounds like an exciting career. So do you have some advice for students that maybe are brand new to this field or just learning about it? Uh, do you have some advice for those who are interested in semiconductors? How do they, 
how do they pursue a path that will lead them to a career in semiconductors? Yes, and, and uh, now is the right moment and Purdue is the right place, right? With the passing of CHIPS Act, we now have a Sputnik moment. Purdue has been engaged in semiconductor from the earliest days, right? From the, the, the germanium work during World War II to, uh, to, uh, for, for the detectors of the radars, right? To the 50 plus faculty members that are working on semiconductors today. So Purdue is the great place to, to do that. So I would advise uh, a student to uh, work hard, uh, uh, keep an open mind, mm -hmm. and grasp, grasp the, 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 the co-op opportunities or summer internships, right? To go to uh, the, the, the industry to see uh, how semiconductors are done in, in real life. Okay, well good. You know, maybe one final question. Yes. You know, um, you know, students may be thinking, you know, semiconductors are exciting and everyone is talking mm -hmm. about them now. Um, they may be wondering, do I have a career in 10 years and 20 years in semiconductors? When you, when you look out longer term, what do you see as the future of this industry? I think the future is very bright. Uh, more and more semiconductors are, uh, chips are needed as we migrate into a, a intelligent society. Mm -hmm. For example, electric driverless cars. So I, I think uh, uh, the future is very bright for semiconductors. Okay. Good, I agree. Uh, so, so listen, thank you uh, for spending a few minutes talking yeah. with me, and uh, and you know I want to thank you and your company for for all that you've done, the technical innovations that mm -hmm. have made this sophisticated electronics possible, mm -hmm. and really makes makes the modern world as we know it possible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and thanks for coming uh, here to Purdue today and bringing your team with you. You're welcome. Very welcome. Uh, um, I'm very happy to be back here at Purdue, and I want to thank Purdue and. I want to thank you for a fine education that I received uh, while I was an undergrad here. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Tony. All right.